So I spend uh, a lot of time thinking about what the Australian government can do to create innovation and drive uh, new industries through data. And ultimately, I think there's five core things that uh, we can do and we should think about uh, to, to, to enable this to happen. Uh, and the first one is that we really can't pick winners. We can't sit here and actually imagine a future uh, with data. So we have, to, we have to allow those innovators in all industries to be able to flourish and grow. So we, we're simply not gonna be say, here's a data set that's gonna, you know, that, that could really drive value. No, no, we've got to allow people to choose the businesses and the commercial models that they want to build around this data and just let them go at it. And it could be anything ultimately. It could be in healthcare, it could be in property, it could be in local government. Um, and so we've just got to allow that to happen. The second is that we've got to really standardize um, data access across local, state, and federal level. So one of the big challenges as, a, as a, an innovator around data and building a data product is that the cost of going and, and getting data from multiple agencies, from multiple levels of government becomes inordinate. And that really needs to be a public good. That needs, there needs to be a centralized place to go to get data and to have it consistent with you know, usable and, and understood rules about what it means in every location. Third, we need to change the business model. So if you think about uh, innovators and the cost of innovation, I think we need to go from an upfront model for data, the cost of data is upfront, to much more of a rev share model, is for the uh, government to actually allow innovation to occur and then to monetize that innovation downstream when those businesses are successful, they've built a business model and actually generating revenue uh, and, and creating you know, an economy around data ultimately. So a really good example of that would be ABS data. You can get high level data, you know, cost you nothing, but you can't build an app with high level data. If you want granular information from the ABS, that costs you money and it costs you quite a bit of money uh, to get that data and get access to that data. So those hurdles become significant for innovators and people who are building new organizations um, from scratch. The fourth really is, you know, fundamentally, if data is not available via an API, it's not going to be valuable for innovation. You know, if I have to manage spreadsheets, I've got to manage all different data sources, that's really difficult. And so having a consistent open API structure that is consistent across all data sets is going to make innovation incredibly easy. And there's some very, very good examples of that uh, in the United States in particular, who've got a phenomenal platform for accessing uh, government data. And, and that data is updated all the time, available through a single API set. And that's what's going to allow innovation to occur. And lastly, we need a minister for data. We need someone who's responsible for making sure that Australia's gov Australian government data is open, it is available, and that you know, regardless of where it comes from, what local, state, federal, which ministry, that it's very, very simple for anyone in Australia to tap into and to use for either social good or commercial applications.